today's Anzac Day and we're going to be making Anzac biscuits in the Thermomix. Daniel, do you know what Anzac stands for? Yes, Australian and New Zealand Army Corps. Okay, and um, Tiana's going to tell us how Anzac biscuits originated. So, the wives of the soldiers sent these biscuits over during World War One, and they sent them over because they stayed fresh for a long period of time. That's right. So, we are going to make these today and um, the kids are going to help me roll them out and we're going to get to enjoy them a little bit later. So before I actually start, what you can see in this jar is golden syrup. And I made this this morning, so you can make golden syrup really easy in the Thermomix. This jar of um, golden syrup costs 80 cents to make and you know if you buy it in the shop you're looking at close to 4 or $5 to actually buy it. It only has brown sugar, cold water in it, some boiling water as well, some raw sugar and a half a slice of lemon. And the reason it thickens is because of the lemon. So the older that your lemon is, the more pectin it will release and the thicker your golden syrup will be. So it's just great to know that you can make this entire recipe from scratch. Okay, so we're going to start Anzac biscuits. I've already got it on the screen. We're gonna start cooking. I've already preheated my oven to 160 degrees. We're gonna go next. I've already lined my trays. Okay, we need 120 grams of butter. Pop that in there. Now, I love making Anzac biscuits or any uh, brownies in the Thermomix cake mixes because you can actually melt it and you're only using one bowl um, to make it. Can't get the butter out. Okay, that's done. Next, we're going to add 10 grams, sorry, 100 grams of golden syrup. So just make sure that our scales are on zero and you'll be able to see how thick and beautiful this looks. our scales to get to 100. Spot on. Put that there. Okay, next, insert the measuring cup into the lid, which we have already done. Let's go next. And we're going to melt this now for two minutes at 60 degrees on speed two. Okay. So you can have a look how beautifully that's melted it. So we weren't standing at the stove, we were able to get our other ingredients ready, just easy doing everything in the one pot. Okay, so next, my kids are bugging me, they want to take over, so I think I'm just going to leave them to it and just um, come back when I'm needed. Off you go. Let's go next, next. And one teaspoon of bicarb soup. Insert the measuring cup. Seconds on speed three. Next. We're going to add our 100 grams of rolled oats. Tear the weight. Yep, put our 100 grams of rolled oats in. to roll these Anzac biscuits out. Okay, so our mixture is done, ready to be poured out. You can see that there. I'm just going to pour it all into the bowl. You 
can see how effortless, effortless that was and um, I need my pot to wash at the end. So we've got our mixture here. It's come together beautifully. Oh, who wants to try that? Me. Oh, no, no, grab it. All right, I'll give you a little taste test too. Mm. And this is a really good vegan option as well because there's no eggs in it either. So for the vegans out there, you can have this. Okay, I've lined my trays with thermo mats. I'll just show you. You can see that one's beautiful and new and the other one has um, had a bit of a workout. But it's pretty great. It saves um, fine baking paper and they fit beautifully in the um, rose gold trays from the mix shop. Love these trays. They're really heavy duty. They don't warp either. Uh, so they're a little, great little investment. Okay, so we'll put those aside. Okay. You've washed your hands, which is great. So now all we do is get a tablespoon and we roll them out. So, I generally just get them all ready and lined up. Okay, so I've just spooned them all out. Some people like just to spoon, roll and pop them on. I just like to get all the dirty work out of the way first and then just roll them. Um, so we'll move them onto this tray. So we're gonna roll these into little balls and we keep them about five centimeters apart because they do spread quite a bit. So we'll just put them. Okay, so we've rolled these out. The next step is to grab yourself a fork. We're gonna grab yourself a fork each and just flatten them slightly. Not too much. Get it all done. Beautiful. Beautiful. So they're going to go into our preheated oven for 9 to 12 minutes. We'll be back and show you what they look like. Okay, so these are our Anzac biscuits. They cooled on the tray for 5 minutes. A little tip um, that you can do, if you take them out of the oven about 3 to 4 minutes into their cooking time, take them out and flatten them again and it will give you a crispier Anzac biscuit. So we've got some already cooling. I think the kids are eagerly awaiting to get in and try them. So off you go. Mmm, mm, that's all I hear in this house is mmm. So there are Anzac biscuits. While they were in the oven, we whipped up another batch. So we're going to get on to rolling these and um, have some more Anzac biscuits. Have a great day. Okay, so these have come out of the oven. They've been cooling on the tray for five minutes and then we're transferring them onto a... <laughs>